good evening this particular presentation i am going to describe the crisis analysis what are the events unfolded in 2008 and what are the events unfolded in 2020 and what is the long term view of the nifty our index so before i will go to this presentation i will just take you across what smart finance does and what is the role of smart finance so if you just open up our website smartfinancing.com you will find out that we have a product section we do have mutual fund broking section we do have many books ebooks download section calculators many things so basically if you go to our product section you will get that we have devised some courses for the traders those who are the stock market traders and the investors we have some decision process softwares we developed couple of decision process softwares so these softwares helps you to analyze the financial market instrument if you are an intraday trader you do analyze the stock through our intraday software if you are an option trader you do analyze the option instrument using our option software so likewise we have six different products here and we have developed many unique courses on wd gan concept on technical analysis on futures and options so all these concepts are unique concepts it is not based on the 1975 technical indicators rather statistical indicators so this part of statistical indicators we have almost phased out and we have brought into many new concepts in our courses like what is the role of volatility in determining the trend what is the role of dynamic principles in the trend forecast what is the role of or what is the correct way to identify or learn one chart so this is all our courses and softwares you can get so besides that we have a mutual fund broking also wherein you can get expert advice where you should invest at what particular time which investment you should do in the mutual fund and how it will be beneficial so always investing only doesn't give you the benefit so there we have a dedicated desk so we have the people to analyze and guide the investors where they should invest and we have that online forum so where you can able to track your investment you can able to invest in any mutual fund using our portal so these are the various things you can get it from our website and this is the activities of smart finance so more precisely we educate the traders more and more on the financial instruments so you can get lot of videos and tutorials in my web portal so and here today's this particular discussions i am going to give a comparison of 2008 financial crisis and 2020 health crisis or corona induced health care crisis and from there we'll be predicting the long term trend of the nifty what should be the nifty in the long term that we are going to predict so to start with to start with i'll be just taking you what unfolded this 2008 financial crisis so all of you will be knowing that it was a demand side problem has started nobody has bought a house nobody has gone for a car in western world and other things so low interest rate encourages mortgage lending so when the interest rate fallen down many people have started buying houses buying the cars so suddenly the prices of the housing sector sector has bubbled uh, it has gone up so people thought that okay i bought a house at 10 lakhs and it is within 2 or 3 years it is going to 20 lakhs and this 20 will multiply to 40 and that 40 will multiply to 80 so that proportionate way they have started thinking and they borrowed money and bought the houses or a liquid asset which was money is being borrowed 
and it is being invested in a illiquid asset which is the land and building though they do not have a need but they have just invested in the house so they have a house but they still buy another house so this is the and this is because of the high approval rates you will be knowing that before 2008 2007 and 8 anybody applies for one credit card he gets it easy very quickly they use so excessive approval rate or dispersal by the banking sector to the without checking the credential of the borrower they have started lending more and more and that process also has been unfolded much before that you can see that from 2000 to 2001 there was a huge interest rate caught by federal reserve so this also set the stage for this crisis so people took money they could not able to pay back so once they could not able to pay back same way people took money could not able to pay back industries took money they could not able to pay back they could not able to service their loans so that has unfolded this particular financial crisis so once this crisis happened you can able to debate more you can go deep into that that is those who are the big economists they can give a very weak fundamental attribute to this however as a layman you can understand this much so what are the actions government of india has taken so we will be talking in terms of government government of india perspective so how these two events has unfolded 2008 all factories were running production was not halt only demand was not there 2020 corona epidemic most of the factory activities are closed productions are not up transports was running and no stop in the pause in the transport sector here too it is closed 2020 we are closed supply chain means you produce a good you produce biscuit it goes to the supermarket stays in the shelf so supply chain activities was fabulous goods are available only the demand side problem was there people are not buying that goods yes easily that lot of loans got into the bad loans so no fresh loans was granted so bulk goods like cars house it was difficult to say here no production is happening demands and supply both are in problem 2020 though you want to buy a car you can't buy it factories are closed even though if you buy you can't get a delivery so banks also reluctant to pay you the loans so supply chain is disturbed 2020 supply chain was perfect exports activities were slow it was not zero so here our very low or almost zero stage we have come into this past couple of months imports activities are there it was domestic demand was increasing so there was no fall in the import so that was a good step there 2020 very low so you would have seen that gold import has fallen by 99 percent crude oil import has fallen so a lot of things you have been seeing in the past two three months jobs so which is very 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 critical area demands slow down and for that the jobs was less it was not layoffs was happening so however it was in a very small pace demand slowed down job demand was low but jobs was there those who are deserving candidates they used to get a job here in 2020 you do not know whether you get a job or not the existing jobs those who are in a job they are under stress they are under a salary cut of 20 to 30 percent so incomes is going to fall down no new jobs many companies have said that for next one year we are not going to recruit any new people so here no new jobs existing jobs in under stress coming to the banking side the cash reserve ratio means if you put 100 rupees in your savings bank so out of that some Three rupees or four rupees the bank used to keep this money with the rbi at zero percent interest they won't get any 
any interest on this. So Sierra, October 2008 to January 2009, they have reduced from 9% to 5%. So, so earlier, so 2008 issue, every 100 rupees you deposit. So out of that 9 rupees, the banks used to keep with the RBA at zero interest. Now they have, they slowly reduced during the crisis and they brought it to 5 rupees. Currently, we are having a 3% CRR. Means every 100 rupees in your bank, 3 rupees is with the RBI without any interest component on that. Loans. Any loan moratorium, anybody who has borrowed money in 2008, no sympathy was granted. So loan rates was less, but they need to service that loan at any cost. They have to pay back that loan. Here in 2020, you have a loan moratorium for six months. Six months, you should not service your loan. And post six months, whatever the accumulations is there, that will be converted to a term loan. So, or your all your loan term, loan duration will be increased. Coming to the repo rate, which is very, very interesting. So, repo rate is a rate which you can say banks need money they used to borrow from the rbi and give some interest to the rbi so 2008 july to april 2009 the rate of this repo rate means the banks are bringing money from the rbi and paying interest 7.5 to 4.75 during that crisis time they have reduced it but july 2008 it was 7.5 percent here June 2018 to till date, 6.25 to 4%. So there's a subs great discount in the terms of liquidity. So these are the financial status as well as the supply side, demand side, and work culture of our country in two different events of 2008 and 2020. How the governments have reacted, that is very important. So what was the financial package given in 2008? So it was a demand side fix, I used to say. Whatever the demand side was not there, so they have just created one opportunity to create the demand. So for that, three times they have come with this thing, December 6, January 2nd, 24th January. So these are the three times they have given. First was 30,700 crores. So it is infrastructure, textile, export, housing, automobile, and small and medium enterprises. Very small amount, you can see. Second fiscal package or the stimulus package, government expenditures. So they have government expenditures, they have just ramp up. They said that if you are a government office, you can buy a car for your officer or you can dispose of some vehicles. All these things they have done. Third package, which is very, very crucial, January 24th, they reduced the excise duty, service tax, and custom duty. Service tax is from 12 to 10 percent. Custom duty across board, they have just reduced by 5 percent. So there are, say, reduction in the taxes. Nothing, nothing beyond that. Low salary earned did not get anything. Wage earners did not get anything. Small business, street vendors, middle class loan takers do not get anything. No sectoral reforms has been taken. Manufacture, no step is being taken to manufacturing activities. Temporary demand enhancement, I used to say. As I said that, demand side fix. So nothing is being done in the structural front. We have a problem just to solve it so that we can see a bigger growth for. These are the things. Just to reduce the service tax from 12 to 10. Custom duty reduced by 5%. Central excise you reduce by something. So what happens once the tax fall down? You pay. So here, textile, infrastructure, exports, housings, automobile. So they have given service tax. They can get a complete refund and all those things. So by this process, they said that somehow the demand drop along. So if the taxes on the cars reduce people will start buying the car so this is what is being done but what about a small small 
poor person in your village. The remote corner of the of any village, any farmer is there. Nothing is being done there. So this is the only a demand side fix is there. So why I'm telling it? Now the fuss is being created that lots being done in 2008. These are the three steps they have taken. You can search the way you can get. Now coming to the 2020, this government financial package, what they have gone. So this I have taken from a web, web presentation of a news article. So you can get it farmers, farmers of that 2000 rupees per month, they are getting food for all individuals for three months. It is not for all individuals, it is for those who are in the BPL list, cash transfer to all Jandan accounts, 500. PF benefit, those who are earning less than 15,000 and their company is having less than 100 in manpower, they are earning less than 15,000. So less than 15,000, 24% of their PF, 24,000% of their PF amount will be government will be paying till the month of August, six months. So imagine 15,000 rupees if one small peon is earning also. It is not for government organizations. Private organizations, those who have less than 100 employees, they are registered with the PF. What government is going to give them near to 4,000, 3,500 or 4,000 rupees for their employees for six month period. So this is a direct money comes to their account, which they can able to withdraw also. Senior citizens, they are going to get the things. Insurance for healthcare, many things they have done. So there is a small comparison here. Food, 2008, no one get a free food. So this is not again. Poor go, gets a food, free food and gas connection. Three gas cylinders, three months of rations, they are doing. Low salary workers got nothing. Financial crisis, because those are the people, those who will be get removed from the job immediately if there is any financial crisis. So here, 24% of their salary comes to their employee provident fund. Farmers got nothing. Here, 2,000 rupees direct benefit transfer to their account. Rural economy, nothing has got in 2008. Livestock, agriculture, nothing. Here, these are the expenditure governments are doing the judicial expenditure, the, the very great expenditures, I can say, in the economic point, point of view. 13,000 crores for recognition of your livelihood. If you have a, a livestock, livestock, not livelihood, for livestock. If you have a cow, if you have a goat, is getting a vaccine. So who is going to get benefited? Your goat is got vaccinated, did not catch the disease. That goat can produce multiple goats and you can able to sell that goats or the farmer can get here. Government is not demanding that each vaccine is paying the money. 15,000 crores they have given for the wrapping of this dairy infrastructures. All milk societies will be upgraded. Beekeeping, so this is also is very non catch area. Though we used to take Dabar honey, Himalaya honey, we do not know who is producing this. So this is also tripe, tripe part can get this thing. Fisheries which is a great contributor of our economy. They are going to get 20,000 crores value chains to preserve, preservance for storage or many things they require. And most important part is the agriculture. 2008, we completely ignore the agriculture section. We do not look at them also as if they are not the part of our financial freedom. Person who is contributing towards your food the rice in your flat has got zero in 2008. Nothing, nobody cares about that. Here, they are going to get one lakh crores for the cold chains, post harvest infrastructures, which government is going to build for you. So this is 10,000 crores. They have given the macro food schemes wherein you can set up a small industry for preparing a poha, for preparing a fried grams. You can get a subsidized loans. 4,000 crores, again, herbal and medicinal plants, many things they have gone, which is just touching the grassroot level. So why I'm telling these things, this is a great part of our economy. We are first time, we are spending a lot for our rural 
economy. Our rural economy is livestock. Our rural economy is agriculture. Our rural economy is floriculture. Our rural economy is horticulture. Our rural economy is sericulture, goat and all these things. So all these infrastructures getting a great boost from here, which is going to get a core basis. Suppose one farmer is just by this process, if his earning is 15,000 rupees per month, he is getting, definitely he will think of buying a two-wheeler. Definitely he will think of buying a fridge for his house. Definitely he will think of buying of a television set for his house. He can color his house or anything he can do. So this majority section of the people, those who are being ignored in 2008 financial crisis, they are being touched in this 2020 financial crisis or health crisis. So this is a great achievement. Coming to coming to stock market movements during 2008 and 2020. 2008, the fall happened 64%. 2020, the fall happened near to 39%, not 29%, it is 39%, near to 40%, 39% fall happened. 2008, we are talking in terms of Technical terms. The price earning multiple was 10.68 when this is the lowest price and I mean, and price to book value of the index was 2.12 when there is a big fall happened. 2020, the P has come to 17.15 and the book value also come to 2.17, almost equal here. The word P terms there is a difference. 2008, we have the highest P of 28.29. 2020 also we had a highest price earning multiple of 28.6. Now I am going to forecast for the nifty levels based on this. These are the nifty data. Nifty, what I am expecting the nifty to behave in the in future time. So this is what for that all this information I am putting. So I am just going for a simple calculations here. 2008 low was 2252.75 nifty october 2008 this problem has started so all of you will be knowing this 2252 27th october this is the thing happened 27th october so if i am going to project the future price of the nifty based on this price to book value so it was highest was 6.55. It has come to 2.12. When it has come to 2.12, the nifty value was 2252.75. I divided by 2252.75 by 2.12 of book value multiplied with 6.55. So I had I was expecting a 6960, and this has achieved in the May 2014. October 2008 to May 2014, it has taken to achieve 6960. Based on the price earning multiple, low was 10.68, high was 28.29. The fair value estimate, if I can do, so same way dividing by 10.68 multiplied with the 28.29, 5967. So this was the expected level which we can got, which we got in September 2000. Then, so October 2008 to 2009, again 2009 to 2010. So roughly one year and 11 months. One year and 11 months. So this level has come. So now come the same process if I can repeat here. 2020 low was 7,511 7, March 2020. Price to book value. 2.17, high was 3.81, if I can just multiply it. So I am expecting that 13,187, so which, which I am expecting, so here it takes some five to six years period. So which I am expecting by Jan 2026. So there is a, here there is a mix arrangement of the things. So it is, I am expecting, by 2026, 20, we can expect this value. And here I can just see that price earning multiples used to 
give a quick reactions here the price price earning principle so here p get this also p so here the p low was 17.5 high was 28.67 if i can say that so 7.55 divided by 17.15 multiplied with 28.67 12566 if i can just just map the same duration of time which has taken one year 11 months i can say that by february 2022 we can get 12566 january by 2026 we can get 13186 or more than that also more than that also we can get it. so because market capitalization divides many things as well so if you're an investor if you're an investor how it because the actions taken in 2008 and actions taken in 2020 is entirely different. It is a reformative action. You have a agriculture reform. You have a defense reform. You have many, many kind of great reforms. Mining reform. You have, you have the agriculture marketing reform. Many things you have. You have reformed any excess productions can be exported agriculture can contribute to the exports a lot many things is there so based on that view to expect a 28 multiple of p is they is not a remote dream it can come with no time same way i'm not expecting the price to book value this is subs greatly reduced because of the NPAs of the different companies. If this price to book value goes to six times, 6.5, which was maintaining at 2008, then your level of Nifty may be 15,000 rupees. So as an investor, what you can do? If you can look into certain mutual funds, we have a mutual fund vertical with us where we, we are guiding the people to invest in the mutual fund. So have a look on this 2000, 2008, October, September, October. What is the NAV of this particular fund as there? 28 rupees. Further also, you can say that it has come down to 25 rupees, 24th October. It was 25 rupees of NAV. Currently, after the fall, it is 86. It has gone to a level of, it is, it has gone to a level of, Currently, it is the level of 86. It has gone much above that. You can say that 77 level here. So 95, 97 rupees also it has come. So here, here you can get it at around 95 level. You can get it has come. So which is 25 rupees early in 2008 and almost gone to a hundred rupees, hundred rupees, which is near to 400 percent. It has gone near to 400. As an investor, that's why I used to tell every fall there is an opportunity. Have a look the nature of the fall. Have a look the be optimistic. Think what triggered that fall and how the government has responded. That is very important. What are the structural reforms which is being taken here? You got though people say that people have not got any money in their hand. The person who has got a PF. Can't you say that he is not going to withdraw that money, he is not going to spend that money at all? So as for their estimate, it is a great some 7 to 8 crore people is going to be get benefited. Farmers who is getting 2000 rupees, 9 crore farmer, don't, don't you think that they will spend? The cash transfer, what happens to this Jandan account, don't you think that they are going to spend that? So all these things and here the major problem of 8 crore people, those who are in the they got a gas, they got a food, everything. Don't you think that it will have any impact? So many initiatives or expenditures what they have planned for agriculture, thinking that that won't yield anything and, and our economy is going to be die down soon is a wrong idea. These are the great structural reforms are being taken. As an investor, you must invest in this market thinking in all these aspects, thinking in all these aspects. So there was a comparison 2008 and 2020, 
and you can easily find out what has happened in 2008 what actions are being taken 2020 what was the what kind of big emergency it is and what actions government has been taken and how the economy is going to behave in future it's a great time to invest so it is a great time to invest think now think investing now in the mutual funds or in some quality stocks that is going to benefit you in the long term thank you very much thank you for your time